Good morning, hashtag Team All Plan, and welcome back to another Sumi Shays video with me on a beautiful morning, guys. Thank you so much for clicking into my link and for being here today. I am thrilled. I'm ecstatic. Hashtag Team All Blade. Hashtag No Blade Left Behind in this mug, guys. You know how we do here. It's hashtag Squad Goals all day long, and I could not do this without you guys. So thank you so much. Hopefully your mornings are starting off beautiful. Hopefully you got a nice cup, a cup of coffee. You're willing on in you're taking a seat whether you're brand new here or an old existing user that keeps coming back thank you guys so much for being here i'm thrilled today we're going to be rocking a shave a razor that came to me via fan mail via my buddy the shave uncle tarl he sent this out to me and he i just out of goodwill he goes i gotta see your channel used the pearl flexi razor guys this is a modern adjustable razor that comes out of india guys this is the new heavy fat boy. Guys, this is the new chunkster chunkster razor, guys. I'm telling you, it's hefty. Like, if you didn't like the razor, you might as well just use it as a hammer. It's a solid CNC brass machined razor, guys. It is just absolutely beautiful. And I know a lot of you right now are like, wait a second, that looks real familiar. That's because it shares the lineage. It shares the heritage, right? This is a very much... Uh, you could call it a Gibbs inspired razor, right? This is a number 15, number 17 styled razor that follows the, like, the, the kind of the predecessor of the Gibbs razor, guys. Keep in mind, this is not necessarily a clone of what Razor Emporium has done, but more of a clone of what that was done way historical with the Gibbs razor, guys. I think when we, when we start comparing this razor, if you were to Google Gibbs, um, or Google Pearl Flexi, guys, Gibbs is what comes up and the Rex Ambassador comes up because they share the same lineage, right? They share that same kind of shape and format and shave style, guys. The parts do fit somewhat. And today I want to go through that with you on the Subi Hat Cam angle. We're going to do it. It's going to be fun. And I want you guys to see just how many things are similar and how many things are different. And just because there's similarities does not mean that one is necessarily a clone or a copycat or anything like that. They just share something really similar. Guys, I know this is going to be one of those shaves that may trigger some people, right? Because keep in mind, the razor right here in my hand is $80 and it's brass versus the stainless that seems to, from Razor Emporium, that's $300 and this seems to cause some division, right? This causes a little bit of, uh, I'm telling you, you guys go on the forums. I'm not, I, I, there's animosity on both sides of it. They're like, no, one's better than the other. I'm not here to say that, guys. I'm just here to show you guys how good this really does shave. I have done one tentative test shave, guys. I could not help myself. I got off camera and I was like, I'm going for it. Jumped on, did a shave, and I was honestly like, I don't, I, I was blown away by it. <laughs> it was like, it's better than I thought it was gonna be, guys. And I think that is where the shocker point, uh, shocker point is. It really is a good shave, right? Is it better? Is it worse? Guys, you, you're gonna have to be the decider of that. But I wanna show you guys how it works, how it shaves, and let you guys make that decision on your own today. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so sweet. And I'm just so thankful for my buddy, Tarl, for the shave uncle for making this possible, guys. And I will say again, I liked it so much. I ran out of my own. All right, so I do have one coming from Maggards. Guys, it's a great razor at a great price point and the best part is I think it introduces um, a great styled adjustable razor at a kind of a place where you know you're getting a great product but it's going to last and it's going to be at a price point that's a, like affordable I think for a lot more people I think it's a, a little bit less sticker shock I really love guys I love one thing I want to mention this really quickly before we jump into the soap guys they have actually beveled you can see here they bevel the stupid corners right there and right there, guys. This is not sharp and this is not sharp. Whereas my Rex Ambassador and my Rex Console were sharp enough they drew blood across my ear from the corners. This one is not. The way that they CNC it and then they go in and polish that before they um, bead blast it, guys, and they add their um, your coating to it, absolutely phenomenal. The fit and finish on this is leagues, is leagues better than the expectations that I had for when, I, when it was in the mail. Honestly, beautiful fit and finish. Actually, really good shaver, guys. Really good shaver with lots of adjustment to it. Today, we're gonna be rocking it on the six and a half because that's how he does. And we're gonna be getting a dome shave going on. I'm stoked. Gonna be awesome. Guys, today I wanted to show you guys we're using Holy Caw. We're using iced tea. This is a methylated soap that comes across as just beautiful cucumber, lime. This smells like a spa in a, in a, a spa in a puck. That's what I always say. Spa in a puck. You can see I've used a lot of this. It's very sad. 
Very sad, but I have to buy at least two or three more pucks. My wife loves that scent, guys. That's one she'll use. We'll get the, um, like, we'll turn on a heater in here, get it all nice and sauna y, steamy, you know? And we just steam ourselves with that soap. It's a beautiful scent. And it lasts, guys. It's from Holy Cough. And again, this is their, um, the, uh, the tallow base. Guys, look at this stuff, man. Beautiful. Just absolutely hydrated beyond hydrated. Oh, just really nice. Great body to it. And I just, I can't say enough about Cerise soaps, guys. I just cannot say enough about that. Like, it really, like, what? It's, guys, come on. Look at this. Look at the shine to this. Really good stuff with this tallow base. Really like that. And we're using a Maritime, this is a Maritime um, Badger. It's a hybrid brush. Uh, guys, I can't say enough about Brendan. We don't see him as much on uh, Etsy anymore because right, he switched. He's no longer on Etsy. He started his own um, webpage, guys, to kind of get around some of the, the charges Etsy was doing. But it's really a great brush and I can't say enough things positive about Brendan. So if he sees this, Brendan, you're doing awesome, man. We love your brushes. Um, again, we're gonna be using the, we're, today I'm gonna go with the After Splash, guys. This is the After Splash by Holy Call. But I wanted to mention, I do have both. I bought the toner as well. And the toner, guys, is really interesting. It doesn't have any alcohol to it and it's more hydrating. Maybe, maybe we'll just do the toner today. I don't know, we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. All right, guys, come with me. I know we've talked a lot. Let's go get this thing loaded up. And so the CB Hack Angle, the Pearl Flexi Razor, the adjustable razor from India, guys, that goes from one all the way up to 6.5. You can see here, the writing and letters are really easy to read. And the little dot is right in the center there, guys. So it's very visible. I really like this razor in the hand, guys. It's very hefty, but the weight balance of it, guys, feels really nice. It feels like it sits right here. It's a very well balanced razor. The knurling is very comfortable in the hand. You guys can see here. The knurling is really nice. It's not quite super deep, but it's enough to give your hand enough texture. The balance, guys, from the knob is really nice because this knob is extra width when you compare it to the Rex's knob, guys, internally. This rod is actually thicker than the Rex's, so it actually produces a little bit more heft towards the bottom of the razor. Guys, this is very, very nice and very affordable, right? And I know everybody, when you Google Pearl Flexi, right? When you Google Pearl Flexi, keep in mind, this is a V2 that came from my buddy, um, Taro, the shave uncle, guys. What you're going to find is everybody comparing it to this razor on my right, guys, to either the Gibbs or to the Rex Ambassador razor, guys. You'll have people always comparing these two razors side by side. And the reason why is because they share such a large amount of similarity, guys. Take a look. You guys can really tell there's a lot of similarity between the two razors. Guys, honestly, look at the two and then understand that this one on my right is $300 to start. And this one right here is $80, right? 80 bucks, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Taro sent me this razor, but I enjoyed the shave I got with the test run so much that I went out and got one, guys. Don't tell anyone, all right? Don't tell the wife. But I enjoyed it so much I ran out and got one, guys. It's phenomenal. The head cap is a little bit thicker than the Rex's, guys. If you look at this head cap, and I'm not trying to do this as a Rex, um, you know, battle or anything like that. I'm just trying to showcase that the razors are super similar. But you see the head cap, how it's a little bit um, wider on this side, guys. See how it's just a little bit wider? That little bit wider of a head cap actually changes the blade feel substantially to where it's not quite as abrasive on this skin, guys. This razor feels really twitchy, right? It's a great shaver, one of my favorites. It feels like an extension in my hand. But it's a little twitchy, right? Wrong angle, you're gonna cut yourself, right? Especially on the higher uh, settings. Whereas this razor does not seem to be as twitchy. The sweet spot is much larger and you get a little bit more forgiveness with the blade is what I'm finding with this razor. I wanna showcase some cool things with this, guys. I wanna showcase just how similar these parts are. The way it works is you unscrew the base here and a little, um, a little collar keeps this from pulling out, right? You remove the top and there you guys go. It's very similar as to how the Rex would break down, right? Same thing, we unscrew the bottom here Right, and the top comes out just like the Rex and like the Rex and, um, console, right? The um, uh, Rex console is the exact same way. Guys, honestly, you guys can see here, but take a look at the knob size here. Take a look at the knob size. You'll see quite a difference in size, right? This one's larger on my left. 
And not only larger, guys, but you can see here that if I pull both out, the width of the sizing there, guys, look at the size difference between the two. Especially here, there's more metal on the Pearl Flexi side than the Rex side, guys. This side is stainless, this side is brass. But keep in mind, there's so much more material on the on the consoles, on the um, Pearly Flexi side, that it really does change the way it feels in the hand. Because this is larger, guys, it does not fit in the Rex too. I wanted, I wanted to mention this very, very clearly. If you were to take a Rex tube, guys, um, this is their extra large. If you were to take this and put it in there, Oh, this is the wrong one. Uh, yeah, this is right. No, this this one right here. If you're gonna try to take this and put it in there, it's not gonna fit, guys. You see that because the gauge is so much larger. So this part right here does not fit in the um, per pearly flexi. But I do want to showcase just how similar these parts are. If you're gonna take the Rex piece here, guys, it does go in because it's smaller, right? And you can assemble um, both base um, caps, guys, on the pearly flexi. So you could use the Rex cap if you were looking for a slightly more aggressive shaver, right? That is a pearl flexi um, frame with the cap from a Rex and the um, ner um, knob from a Rex, guys. Take a look at that. How cool is that? Right there. It can be Frankenstein together. That's how similar the razors are. You can't. You can see the color doesn't hold it in there, but it is very similar, guys. Here's one thing that I did find very comfortable. If you take the pearly flexi head cap, guys, and I tested this out yesterday, and you put it on your Rex, take a look at this. Pearly flexi Rex um, kind of combination here. And this right here, guys, for me, was a phenomenal shaver. If you take this uh, head cap, guys, and you put it on your Rex, the pearly flexi bay, um, cap, guys, actually changes that shave pretty substantially just because it's adding a little bit more material here guys on the on the top cap that's all it is and again i'm not trying to do this as like a comparison i'm not trying to get everybody riled up i'm just showing these razors are so similar because they were really inspired from the traditional gibbs guys keep in mind i wouldn't say that one clones you know copies a better a, a different razor right i would just say they're both inspired their heritage comes from something that's legendary guys the gibbs um 17 and the gibbs 15 absolutely phenomenal razors right here and honestly guys i'm swear I, i'm telling you the pearly flexi is if you're not willing to shell out the money for one of these it's gonna get you really darn good shaves guys with this guy and honestly i have very little very very few negative things to say about the pearly flexi from my first test run yesterday other than the fact that the collette guys right here it moves and as a head shaver, what happens is when you tilt it up and down like this, right, it rattles. So I took some plumber's tape and just wrapped it right alongside, you guys can see, the actual collar. So it can still close and everything, guys. Take a look. It still slides in nice and easy. Look, slides in. You guys see this? Slides in, holds in place. And now... <laughs> There's no rattling, guys. No rattling. I know. I know. You're like, I didn't know Subi Shaves was going to be perfecting the pearly flexi, guys. We did it. We changed it. We made it. We got rid of that rattle, guys. And as a head shaver, that rattle was driving me nuts yesterday. So I'm really excited to have that rattle gone. And for like one second of effort, right? All we did was put a little bit of plumber's tape around the collar to kind of secure it a little bit better, so it's not moving around as much. Then we're, um, I know that the Pearl Flexi guys, it did have a lot of variations. This is a V2. My buddy Tarl is the person that sent it to me. And he said that his was a V2, guys. They're up to V7 now. And so they've changed some things. You guys can see, I assembled that very easily. I took two half DE blades from Derby Premiums, right? The blacks. And we just stacked them together. And I do that because I like the way it shaves with two blades stacked together, guys, on one side as a head shaver. We're going to, actually, I'm going to do the other side. I'm gonna flip it around. There we go. I'm gonna do the other side of this so you guys can see the numbers and lock it down. Nice, simple, easy. I know that some people complained about the the way that the the like uh, the way it assembles. I have no problems with how it assembles. But again, I have a, I've used this razor right here so many times that this razor feels right at home in my hand. Honestly, guys, we're gonna set it all the way at one right there, and then we're gonna twist it, guys. I wanted to show you guys the dial moves very easy and very smoothly. And we're going to go all the way over to that six and a half marker, guys. There's a half marker dot right there. And we're going to go all the way over to it. So that's a six and a half. 
Guys, keep in mind, if you're in a six and a half shave with the Rex Ambassador, right? It's a very aggressive razor. Like this, it's actually really efficient, but it's more mild, guys. I'm finding this to be a more mild, much more approachable shaver compared to the Rex. The, not that the Rex is not gonna give you a shave that's not gonna last, guys. This is a phenomenal razor on my right. But this tends to be a little bit, I, I would say, almost more user approachable, more user friendly, at least for me. Guys, let me take you up on the Subi hat cam. Let me, let's go see how it does on the skin. Zoinkers, guys, I hope that's exciting for you. Welcome back from the Subi hat cam angle. I am just absolutely thrilled. I am really enamored by this little razor right here, guys. It's been a phenomenal shave and shave experience using it. And today, I'm telling you, those Derby Blacks, I'm thrilled. Um, the shave I got yesterday, guys, was like 18 and a half hours, honestly, at BBS, I was like, I don't even know if I need to shave. And so I went to the 24 hour mark and I was like, maybe a little bit, like it's a really long lasting shaver. It's hefty guys. I do want to mention this. It is hefty. And because of the heft to it, it takes a little bit of adjustment as you're kind of dialing it in. But I found the sweet spot guys to be much larger than the Rex's much larger. And I love if you put the cap from the Pearly Flexi onto the Rex, it enlarges that same shave spot, guys. I was able to get that same like enlarged um, sweet spot on the Rex, and I like that. I do find the Rex to be a little bit more nimble. I find the Rex to be a lot lighter. And because I can disassemble the Rex fully, right, because it's not, it doesn't have Loctite on it, I am able to get in and use like a plastic handle, make it a little bit lighter. I love, my Rex right now sits at about 70 grams, where this is like 140. This is two times the amount of weight I usually shave with on my head with my Rex. So that definitely changes the razor in and of itself, but it's not a bad thing, guys. And that's what I wanted to mention here is the razor, even though it's heavy, does not come across as cumbersome. It is not like one of those razors where you're like, oh, it's gonna bite me and I'm gonna have no accuracy while shaving because it's so heavy. It's not that way. Really, really nice. And I do, again, I'm not trying to incite anybody. I don't want to trigger anybody. I don't want people to say, oh, he's going one way or the other. I'm really not, guys. I love the Rex razor. The Rex in my hand feels like it's at home, right? It's finally an extension of my hand. I really love that razor. And I've done a lot of videos on that razor, right? But I think this is more approachable for the masses, guys. I think the price is more affordable. And keep in mind, when people start looking at their adjustable ranges, right? The first range is going to be like your uh, kind of like your variant from Parker, maybe some Vikings guys. When you look at the modern adjustables, right? And I know a lot of the other guys, the, the vintage guys. That's the problem. You got the vintage guys are like the slim. Don't forget about the slim. What about the fat boy? You got all these different variations, guys, and options. And uh, and because of that, you have to have a razor that really is good to perform and to compete with all the other options, right? Why why choose one over the other? And for me guys, a solid CNC brass razor for 80 bucks, gonna be hard to beat. Keep in mind this does come out of India and it's well made guys. I did, like I said, order mine from Maggard's and they did have a lot of variations guys to this razor, lots of different models and partially because they had gaps that were uneven, right? When you go read about this, that all the problems, all the QC issues, it all came down to a bars that didn't raise and lower equally. This one does. Hopefully the one I ordered does, right? That's really one of the gambles, one of the risks, but they should have that worked out at this point, right? That was a spring situation and a thread situation. Um, and what, what, guess watch this, just watch, it's crazy. Look at this, beautiful. This is on the 6.5 with two stacked derby blades, guys. Yes, we are subi stacked and we are flying. This, like I said, is heftier. But did you guys listen to this? I wanted to make this really, really clear because I only have two complaints with the um, Pearl Flexi, guys. I have two complaints. The first one, when I was shaving yesterday, I had a noticeable pull, click, 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 from the collet going up and down. It was horribly annoying, horribly annoying, with a little bit of um, plumber's tape, absolutely fixed it. The only other thing I, I really just didn't love about this razor, guys, is the uh, cat, the adjustment wheel, when it's wet, is really hard to get access to. I just put a little alum in my hand so it's more grippy, but I would say that the Rex's grip right here that follows more of the traditional gib style, it's a little easier to manipulate while shaving. Now keep in mind, a lot of people will not sh um, change that while shaving, guys, at all, right? You just change it once and you run the shave through. But keep in mind that that adjustment wheel for me was a little bit harder to access. 
but it's a lot more visible, <laughs> a lot more visible than my um, Rex in the current generation, guys. I know that Matt said he has fixed and changed it, right? But that's just how it goes. But keep in mind, again, this is not a battle of the two razors, but it's hard to do one without comparing the other guys. It really is because they do share that same lineage. I want to share and, and do the Gibbs with you guys and, you know, kind of do the OG where all this started. I don't own one, though. So I have tried buying one. They are really hard to come by in the States because they are a French razor, guys. But keep in mind, I am doing this on 6.5 with a full two blades, right? And you guys can see it's just knocking it right off. But it's not twitchy. I think that's where the big deal is for me, is it doesn't feel twitchy to me, guys. I'm trying to get the stubble to, to showcase here for you guys. You see all that stubble right there? See all that right there? Nasty, guys. We're on, like I said, almost 30 hours of growth because I needed more growth to grow. <laughs> this is one of those razors on 6.5. I got an equivalent Rex closeness. That's a Rex closeness shave, guys, that really doesn't have as much of a... I would say as much of a learning curve, right? That's the word I'm gonna use for it. If the Rex feels like it has more of a learning curve. Look at this, I am buffing on areas that don't have a ton of, only have proto soap, right? Like proto lather on it. And we're going right across the grain and I'm not getting irritation. I, that, that's something I would not do with the Rex, right? This is tends to be, it feels to me like it's a little bit, oh, more, well, like, I, it just a little bit, more user friendly, guys. I don't know. It's more approachable, right? I can do both as a head shave, guys. I'm doing both. This is heavy, right? But it's not like cumbersome, guys. It really isn't. At 140 grams, you think like, oh, I'll skip the gym and use that razor. It really is not that kind. Of, it's not that like. It's not that kind of heaviness, guys. It really is not. It feels very balanced. I have nothing but good things to say about the razor, guys. Honestly, other than the click, click, click that I had to fix, guys. You just pull that little thing right out and you put some plumber's tape right on there and you are subi fixed, right? The subi hack for the tink, tink, tink. I was not a fan of that noise, guys. It just drove me nuts as a head shaver because what happens is you flip your razor upside down like this to do against the grain on your head and it just sits and goes tink, tink, tink. So really easy workaround. And you've got a razor that is shaped, formatted, and really does shave really well, guys. Really well. I do wish I could pull the handle off. I really do. So that I could put my frugal shaves um, tubes on there, guys. But that's the other thing is you like, because the knob is thicker on inside, the rod is thicker, it'd be really a lot of work. You'd have to work out get a new diameter from frugal and it would be a lot more work to get this to work for a plastic tube. Honestly, guys, it'd be a little bit more work. Because this has a lot of weight to it, honestly, I don't put any pressure down, guys. I just like sit it down and let it, let it do its thing. I like that a lot. And as a person that's used a lot of budgetary, I use a lot of the Viking line, guys. I've had people send me Vikings, right? They're like, oh, try this one out. I just, I think that those budgetary ones, guys, this, for me, they don't tend to shave this good, right? This probably is one of the best shavers I've, I've experienced in the budget modern adjustable lineage, right? And the line options, guys. Um, the uh, beautiful Gibbs clone from Yachty, right? The final cut from Yachty, guys, is another one of those ones that's really nice. But my problem with that razor, honestly, guys, is the head cap. It just produces too mild of a shave. It's too mild for me. I even rocked all the way out. I just could not get the blade fill that I wanted, nor the efficiency I was looking for. Like this, guys. This right here, it's a stubble smacker, right? It is a BBS maker. It is, it is a like a bald man's best friend. I'm telling you guys, this is really good. So really, honestly, what you're paying more money for when you're looking at the, uh, if you were to ask me, right, my opinion, say, Subi, don't give me a snow job. Don't you drag me through the mud. Give me the honesty. Give me the transparency. Right? Transparency corner here, guys. What you're paying more money for is stainless and for the knurling, right? If you're really to compare it against the Rex, you're paying for the knurling and you're paying for the, the stainless, right? The stainless still. And if you don't want a coated brass razor, right? That's the other option. But guys, look at this. For me, I just, I think that both razors are phenomenal, right? I now own both razors. How about that? How's that, how does that tell you guys? I now own both. 
but I would probably be willing to pick this one up more often or to use the cap on the Rex. That's really what's gonna happen here, guys. I'm gonna use the cap on the Rex because I like the Rex's little dial adjustment, just a little bit better in the hand while I'm shaving, guys. Like I said, most people don't use that. I tend to use it on my neck when I'm off camera. I don't mind dialing it down some days when my neck needs a little bit less aggressiveness, personally. I also tend to use the lower settings on my body shaving um, with the Rex Ambassador because I like how that feels on my chest and things like that. But guys, look at this. Look, we're, we're, we're done. I would not like, look at this. We are BBS beyond, like you can just see. I was just doing some cleanup because I'm getting picky, but that's a razor you can get picky with doing cleanup and not have irritation, not have cuts. I am thrilled with the shave quality, guys. And this is, like I said, it's a very polarizing razor because some people say, I swear by one. Other people say, you know, I, I used both and I sold one. That, 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 that's how much polarization they feel. I think both razors could fit different user groups, but I think the Pearl Flexi probably fits a larger basis, right? I think it actually fits a larger user base, whereas the Rex tends to be for a specific user, right? I really feel it's for a specific user without some minor tweaking and learning, right? I think any razor can be used by anybody. It just takes more learning. This right here takes less learning than that razor did. For me, keep that in mind. This is a for me situation. I am shocked, guys. Look, keep my 80 bones, 80 bones. That's like, that is honestly... That's cheaper than most people are going to pay for a nice fat boy, right? Especially outside of the U.S. Keep in mind, right? There's other world markets, right? And this is going to be more affordable than getting uh, like a, a Rex or a fat boy, a vintage fat boy. Similar probably to a, G a Gillette Slim. And the shave is really good, guys. I just... Again, not a battle between <laughs> any of the vintage and modern guys. I'm not trying to do any of that. just want to showcase how good that really does shave. This is one, if you've not used it, guys, and you've not used a Rex, definitely one to put in a basket and to think about because 10 minute shave, guys, 10 minute shave, BBS beyond BBS, and for, like it's going to last a lifetime, right? They've actually got a warranty card that comes with the razor and they guarantee it for life for the first user, guys. You have a warranty card, guarantees it against defect, against problems, I think that's awesome, and I, I support. I like to support companies that, that stand behind their products, guys. We decided to go with the Splash because that's what I picked up. <laughs> we decided to go with the Splash. Beautiful, absolutely phenomenal. And guys, I forgot to mention this, but today I want to use the Gray Matter, the Gray Matter. Um, uh, this is strange. Uh, little fictions, because I think it's going to pair well with that. The coconut is going to mix because this has coconut in it. Mixes really nicely with the cucumber and like the mentholated, like spa esque feel. Right? You got the cucumber, you got spa, and then you add the coconut. I don't know, it's kind of fun, guys. I hope this showcases just how good the Pearl Flexi shaves, right? I hope you guys see it. I hope you're excited about it because I know I am. I know I'm going to continue using this while I, I while I have, uh, I have it on uh, loaner, right? While I borrowed it from my buddy, it's phenomenal. And he actually reached out, he goes, I challenge you to use it and not love it. This is phenomenal. I really like it as a head shaver. As a face shaver, guys, it really fits the face well. I know some people mentioned they thought it was too chunky. It does cover the blade tabs. I'm not really sure where the, the complaint is on it because I get it around my mouth. I can get it around. I don't have any areas where I can't reach with this one, especially in like really ch tough spots. Honestly, guys, I think this puts it above the Merker Fooder, or the clones at least, right? the Q-Shade, whatever you want to look. I think it puts it in the league of the Merker Fooder, which is really impressive. And I think it is absolutely as comfortable, if not more comfortable than the Rex like on lower settings. But in the higher settings, I just really like this. And I think that most people that tried it would like it. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you found the video interesting, exciting, and helpful. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for joining me for another beautiful BBS shave, guys. I'm going to go enjoy it. You should, too. Enjoy the rest of your days. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Subi Shaves, out!